Saltaire United Reformed Church is a remarkably non-conforming, non-conformist place of worship with extravagant Baroque and Italianate features. It was built in 1859 by Titus Salt, an industrial entrepreneur, who brought mill workers out from Bradford to work and worship in his new model village of Saltaire, now a World Heritage Site. Titus Salt had obviously travelled and uh, he didn't see why um, the Catholics and the Anglicans should have all the best uh, beautiful churches and he commissioned this one, which is very, very nice. And I said, well, it's a challenge, isn't it? And you can't resist a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so that, I think that's how it started. It was probably how it started. I think, I think in all fairness, I do have this vision, did have this vision that we can do this education centre. And it all followed on from that, you know. Mm. You can't appreciate how bad the windows were. There were people have been um, flinging things through the windows and... Uh, and the mausoleum was uh, in a bit of a state. People had been stealing lead off the roof. One of the people who stole some lead actually on the way out threw a beer bottle through one of the windows. So he must have been propelling in his grave because he was actually buried here in the, uh, under the mausoleum. Well, there wasn't a single window without broken panes in it. Mm. You can actually see, if you look very carefully, the panes which are original because they're slightly pinker. Pink. When I first came in here, these beams were really rotten, absolutely crumbling away in your hands. The water was also coming in down the stairwell here. You can actually see the stains down the wall in one or two places, even now. You probably can't appreciate the repairs we've done to the masonry, because it's all invisible, which is an important thing about being a conservation architect, rather than designing buildings, you just have to leave your ego behind. We had a group of uh, Muslim children come in only about a fortnight ago and uh, one little boy just before he was coming in said, is the great imam in here? <laughs> <laughs> Dick says, well, yes, it could be. <laughs> We've got a tradition of it as being a welcoming, a welcoming church. church. That's right. We, yeah, so we try to, to keep we it do that way. If people come in, we like to talk to talk them to and them. welcome them. Again, you don't know why they're coming. They may mm. need help. Yes. They may need support. They may yes. be just. They may be an expert at raising grants. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we always hope. <laughs> Everybody that comes in, they go, "Wow, don't they?" <laughs> because it's. From outside, it only looks quite small, but when you, small get in, <laughs> when you get in, it's huge. I think it, people are just drawn in, and, uh, and if they're interested in the village anyway, they'll come to the church, because a lot of them are here to, to go to the mill, uh, which is another story entirely. 